Okay, let's step it up a notch in complexity here. Let's click back into Setup tab and we will start adding bones for a leg. So, select the butt and we'll use the plus key on the keypad to add a bone to it. Under the bone block here, uncheck Align Z to Parent, let's move it out on X, and then along Z, and then move the tip of this bone until it reaches the rotation bit where you want the leg to rotate. So it'll be sitting right on the joint where you want the leg to rotate. We'll name this first bone Leg R for right. Let's add another bone to that with the plus key on the keypad. Stretch this one out a bit longer. We'll zoom out and rotate it on heading so it matches the leg a bit more accurately. Switch to a left view and we'll pitch this one forward so that the knee is right in the middle of the leg. And then we'll make it half size. I'm going to name this one Thigh 1R. Use the plus key again to add another bone to that and adjust the length of this one so it's right in the middle of the knee. I'm going to name this one Thigh 2R. Let's use the plus key on the keypad again. We'll add another bone to that. I'm going to pitch this one down the length, adjust its length so that the tip of this bone is right on top of the ankle. Then we're going to make this one half size. We're going to name this one calf 1R. Add another bone to that. Name this one calf 2R. And then add another bone to the end of that chain. We'll make this one really small. We're going to name this one ankle attach R. Under the bone block here, there's a setting called slip. If you set that to 1, then the bone will have no influence over the mesh when we animate. It won't distort the mesh. So let's switch to a front view here, and we want this bone to be centered in the middle of the ankle. We're going to do that from the thigh. So middle mouse click on the thigh. And under heading here, we're going to rotate the thigh heading until the ankle down here at the bottom is right in the middle of the mesh. Now the reason I'm adding more joints to this is because the smaller a bone gets the less influence it has. Very large bones take a lot more mesh with them when they start to animate. So if you start with small bones you can concentrate all of the distortion in a small area. So we'll add a control to the foot now. Let's add a null here call it man IK foot right. Let's click on the plus key next to it to add that. You'll see it added it to our hierarchy. Just drag that down and out. Runs right to the center of the world. Center that with an A key. I'll we'll move this back till it's on the heel. Switch to a front view here and move it along X until the Y axis here, this arrow points straight up at the base of our ankle attach right bone at the end of the chain. So switch back to left view, it's middle mouse click select any bone, for now it's ankle attach right, add a bone to that, and then drag that on top of IK foot right, and it'll parent it. So make it a bit longer, let's move it out on Z, up on Y, and this bone will be called Toe R. Let's add a bone to that one, but drag it back on top of IK foot right. And we'll move this one right on top of Toe R, but we're going to pitch it all the way back and aim the tip of this bone right at the base of our tiny ankle attach right bone. make sure it's right on top of it. I'm going to call this one arch right. I'm going to add one last one to that. Pitch this one down. This will help secure all of the mesh on the heel 
but it also acts as an attach point for our IK constraint. Let's make it a bit shorter. We're going to call this one IK ankle right. So now, let's save our work again. Click into the File tab, File, Save Messiah Scene As. We're going to name this one BodyB.fxs.